What's up guys and girls, Steve here from DJ Projects bringing you guys along for another weekly Wednesday episode. Before we get into today's video, I just want to say a massive, wicked, massive, wicked. massive thank Jungle you to everyone massive. who's showing the support on the weekly episodes that we're putting out on Sundays. If you haven't seen the last one yet, it's in one of the corners here. I'm not sure which side, but it'll be a pop-up banner. So click on that if you haven't watched it already. Over 20,000 people have watched that video so far. And I can't tell you guys how much that means to me and my dad and the whole DJ Projects team. We find that absolutely crazy. Smash the like goal. We hit over a thousand likes on that video and it's still going up. I can't believe it. It's absolutely mad, really. So for today's video and today's light like goal, if we can hit, I don't know, oh, what shall I say, what shall I say? If we can hit 500 likes, we would very much appreciate that. If we don't hit it, don't worry, that's a big ass number, I know. So if we don't hit it, don't sweat it. We appreciate you guys being here. So then for today's video, it's going to be a short one, nothing too crazy. It's already 1 p.m. in the day, so the video is not going to be six hours long, so don't worry about that. Today's video is going to be some decking and a planter made out of four by four, eight foot posts. So that'll be quite interesting, putting that together and showing you guys how we're going to do it. I've got the post fix ready. I've got a few chocks ready for the decking, just like we showed you on the Sunday video. We put them down the side at the decking to stop the decking from moving. Got some four by two timbers there some four by two timbers right there again for the chocks for the decking so that when we put this decking up and the customer stands on the decking it's not like that and you're not moving around so i'm pretty much just waiting for my dad now then guys as soon as he gets back i'll update you on what we're doing i'll be driving this far my dad will be driving the bilingo that's behind me and we shall crack on from there i'll probably see you guys on site oh, so we've arrived at the job van's still full of the uh, materials and it ain't gonna unload itself, so I better get up to it. I miss the family I used to have. I feel like everything's so different now. Sitting by the fire as you'd watch the flames burn out. I miss the days I wasn't afraid. Now I always have my guard up. Hands on my face, I learned to cope with the pain. I know that people think I'm trying to get attention. But in reality, I'm trying to send a message I know there's kids out there that are going through the same thing And if you're one of them, I hope to help your suffering Just know it will get better and these feelings do not stay the same, no They don't stay the same I don't wanna make As you can see guys, we've all unloaded Ready for this decking and planter job Alright, what we're we gonna be doing We've just cut all the wood up, me and Stevie have To make the frame We're gonna screw that together in a minute and then we're gonna put place the frame down, mark out, and probably have to take some of this soil away. But we're not gonna take it off site because we're gonna build a planter here so that soil can go in the planter and be reused. When we get to that stage, we'll show you what we're up to then. There's the initial frame done, guys. It's not a massive piece of deck in this one. Obviously, like my dad says, that's gonna be all decked here, really just in front of that shed. And then there will be a planter just here using those four by four posts. This one is roughly three meters long and around 1.5-ish wide. So we've just got these chocks to put in the centers now to keep it nice and strong. So if there is any do-it-yourselfers out there, we're gonna show you how to do the decking in today's video. All you need to do is space out the chocks to give it an even strength, mark them off with a square like my dad, done the same on the opposite sides there, see? So we're going every 50 centimeters or every 500 millimeters, however you guys want to do it. Or well, 19 and three quarters inches in old school. <laughs> so i know a lot of you guys will know what you're doing because i'm assuming we've got a few traders and a few people that do this sort of stuff for a living watching our channel but for the people that aren't and all those do-it-yourselfers where these 50s have been marked we've put an x so the chock of wood is going to go pretty much like that but obviously nice and square and then the same onto that side so we'll do a couple of these and then show you how to do the last one so as you can see guys they're pretty much in now. All the gaps are absolutely perfect, all the same, because we took our measurements beforehand. And the timbers are all on the cross and the same side of the line. It's just onto our last one. I've got the timber. My dad's just going to show you a little technique. You measure three. Three. 
four. And the distance from there should be five. I call it four, five, three, but someone's corrected me. I say three, four, five. Four, five, three, three, four, five does the same thing. Don't really matter, does it really, to be honest. We love being corrected. <laughs> and that distance from there should be five, which it is. And I've got a little square as well. Square fits perfectly in there, so it's square. So yeah, four, five, three, three, four, five whichever you want to call it, it does the same thing. So here we are, we're on the last one. We said we'll show you how you do it. We're on our marks. It's nice and tight. All I do, I bring my square across. Tap it down, feel that. I don't wear gloves when I'm doing woodwork because I like to feel. When you've got a glove, you can't feel what you're actually doing. So that's nice and square and all we do no need for pre-drilling these screws got an expansion on there they're made for wood drive one in to lift it up you can check as well make sure that's square that way it is what's your second one exactly the same the other side feel again just bang on the money Set the frames made so what we're going to do lower the frame in cut down there with a shovel so we know where to, how much to take out we don't take too much of the grass out so that's where that decking is going to be going as you can see that is not level so that side of the garden needs digging out thankfully we had a bit of a torrential storm last night so the ground is nice and soft so we'll get onto that and get it leveled I miss the days I wasn't afraid Now I always have my guard up Hands on my face, I learned to cope with the pain I know that people think I'm trying to get attention But in reality I'm trying to send a message I know there's kids out there that are going through the same thing And if you're one of them As you can see guys, we've been busy And we might have had a torrential rainstorm But digging's hard no matter how hard it is, no matter how the ground is, if it's harder or if it's easier, digging's still hard. So that's all dug now, pretty much level, ready for our frame. So me and my dad are just gonna drop this frame in and tweak it a little bit until it's leveled up. E-man. I like it grew there. So for a level off by eye, with that grafter, we're not too bad. We're not too bad at all. We'll get that level though. And a decking board fits under that door. That's always a good sign. Now remember as well guys, if you don't want them pesty weeds coming through that decking, make sure you put some membrane down. One hole, two holes, three holes, and just about to make that fourth hole. Remember guys as well, you don't need many tools for this. A grafter, a shovel, something to dig the holes out with like post holes but remember that shovel and that grafter will do the exact same jobs if you don't mind getting your hands dirty <laughs> right people hang on hang on i just said to steve have you bought a watering can and steve goes you don't you don't all <laughs> 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 right so let me say, let me explain well dad asked me if i brought a watering can well i solely I put those 28 posts on that van. Now, trust me when I say those four before posts, they're not light. So when I know that they're for a planter, I know the customer has got plants. They can have a watering can. They can have water access. <laughs> yeah, just got himself so out of it. That's what it is. Well, the heavens have opened up on us. You can probably not see it on the camera. But the next step anyway, guys, forget the rain. We've got decking to lay. You need to put the posts in. Make sure that the post is below so when your decking board sits on, there's no hump, Humpty Dumpty land. Humpty <laughs> Dumpty Yeah, land. Humpty Dumpty land. Is that where you get that from? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so get those posts in, in all corners, screw them in. You can use coach bolts, but it's just as strong if you've got the right screws. You must be able to see the rain now as well. Someone mentioned about Ryobi tools, something about toffee or chocolate tools or something. I've got DeWalt tools, I've got Bosch tools, I've got Ryobi tools. It's not what tools you've got, it's how you use them. I can use any tool and do the same job. Those that pull up on site, 
and get all this Dewalt gear out, all dead thing, dead shine there, dead scared to use it and get it dirty. You know this drill, 250 pound I think it was. We can leave them out in the rain and everything else. Bear in mind it has been raining. We're not bothered. We'd rather get the job done right instead of pulling up to site and these deluxe, like, like this. I've got a Ryobi one of these and I've got a DeWalt one. I'm reluctant to get this one out and get it wet. But the Ryobi one, I'll get it wet. You know, to get the job done. So, it's not all about the tools, people. You can, you can put a piece of decking in or a fence up with Ryobi tools or Titan tools. You know what I mean? It's those that brag about the tools normally do a crap job. Simple as. There's no point in having all the gear and no idea, is there? So then guys, all four posts are secure. We're gonna set these with a the post creek now, and then me and my dad will go have a little bite to eat. I'll give these around about five minutes to set. If you've watched the last video, where we did some decking, we put chocks in the middle. This one, the span's not big enough really to put chocks. It'll be a bit overkill. We're not gonna need to do it. It's only 1.5 by three meters, so you don't really need to do it. You can if you want, if you want to go overkill, but you don't need to. So we'll set these, have some lunch, white goes off, and then come back in a minute. So, post created all four in. By the time we come back, all that water should have gone. Stevie's aggravated, or aggr whatever that bloke said it was, he's aggravated the, the post creep. He's churned it up to make it so it's mixed. We, we use different words to everyone else. Our dictionary is D&J dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the uh, Oxford, it's D&J. So we're gonna go and get some snap. Give these 10 minutes, then we'll be back. Fill them in, put the uh, membrane back under where it's meant to be, and then we'll start decking the top. For right now though, guys, it's not looking too shabby. Merchandise coming out soon. So me and my dad have just had lunch, guys, and we're getting to the business end of the decking. We're just putting a few cuts in now, making sure that everything lines up. We're gonna do this decking so there is as little waste as possible. What we're going to do is use a board, full length, the off cut, of that board that was 4.8 meters is going to return and then we're going to do the next one and then off cut off that board we'll do that side you could do this full boards all of the way but you will have a lot of excess waste and we don't like wasting the wood so we're going to crack on with this and then i'll put you guys on a time lapse when we start screwing in all of the decking here we are just about ready to lay the deck what i like to do i've got a little tiny right you don't have to do this but i just like to do it what we do we take a chamfer off there with a the router just take a little tiny bit off there it stops it from chipping and being catched a little bit nicer we do that both ends and then the spacer all i use is a couple of allen keys drop an allen key in and there and then space the board like that and then we screw it down Right, we'll stick you on a time lapse because we've got to get this decking done and we'll crack on with it and we'll show you the finished product at the end. And I don't wanna be you feel bad But you kind of ruin my life You hurt me and ruin my a couple friends on my way up i took a couple l's but that's just normal talk i popped a couple pills but they don't do much and now i take prozac in the morning with some other stuff but why did i get into this i feel like this is all a dream but when i wake up look around this isn't even make believe so i sit in the corner thinking back to all the memories i grew up with these fake beliefs by the time i find a remedy and that is pretty much it for the decking at this project guys I think the customer will be very happy with this one. They've got a nice little decked area for when they get that afternoon sun. They can sit outside of the summer house, nice table and chairs, and catch them last sun rays. And as you can see, guys, barely any waste 
from that whole project. That's what we like to do at DNJ projects. We don't want to waste any material if we can help it. So that's what we've been able to do. Use as little decking as possible and save some of that decking for a future project. So we've got those timbers there ready for a planter to go here. We'll be able to use this old soil that we've took out from there to go inside the planter. So in a way we're recycling that soil. Me and my dad hope you've enjoyed this video guys. This little do it yourself decking project. It's not taken too long. We started at two o'clock and what's the time dad? Quarter to six. And it's quarter to six. We would have been done a little bit faster if we wasn't filming and we didn't have a little bit of a lunch break. So this one's not taking too long. You guys could do this definitely yourselves if you give it a try. Minimal tools needed as well. So that's the beauty of the decking. From me and my dad, I want to say a massive thank you for having us right here. Remember guys, follow us on all those socials. Like this video if you can. And we will see you guys on Sunday for that weekly episode. See you later.